Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick little tutorial on troubleshooting some problems that are common in Inkscape. Inkscape has an awful lot of settings and when the settings are somehow accidentally switched in correctly, then it can cause problems with you trying to execute the movements or the creation of objects that you want to. And it's not so much your fault for not understanding where all the settings are, it's kind of strange that, that Inkscape would ever open up with certain settings turned on or turned off. But uh, it's happened a lot and believe me, this tutorial is going to be really helpful in getting you the information you need to find out what's going on and how you can fix it. So first and foremost, let me bring up the software and let me talk about the fact that if you ever create something and you can't see it, there are a number of places you can go in order to try and fix the problem. Now, Inkscape really should just open up and everything should work normally. But there are times in Inkscape where if you grab the tool and you click and drag and you go to make something, all you get up is a box. Again, don't ask me why Inkscape does this, but it's happened quite a lot. And if you can't see the object, then you don't even know it's there when you click off of it. You would have to accidentally select it to know that it's there. Just like I've got two more objects over here that I've accidentally selected. Right? So I've got three objects on the screen, but they're only showing up as a broken dotted line. They're there, but they're not visible. And here is why they're not visible. And it's kind of odd that I have to even show you this, but I have to, otherwise you're going to be totally lost when this happens to you on your own. First, let's go to the drop-down menu Layer, and let's turn our Layers palette on on the right side. Okay. Over here on the right side is a layers palette. Um, you're going to be using this in later lessons in order to learn how to use layers effectively. But for now, just be aware that it exists under the drop-down menu layer. And then you click on the word layers. Sometimes it's the first option. In later versions of Inkscape, it's the bottom option. And when that layers palette is open, you can see a number of things over here that are actually going to come into play into making these objects visible. Okay, the first one is at the bottom, there is an option called opacity. Now, opacity is a fancy word that has to deal with the transparency or the not transparency of an object. If an object is not transparent, it's opaque. If it is transparent, it is transparent. Opacity is the range between being completely opaque, can't see through it at all, and being completely transparent. All of you have windows in your home and you know that your windows are transparent or clear, but many of you will have bathroom windows that are frosted. That is a type of opacity. If it's frosted but still allows light in, you know, it's 50% opaque. If it's a brick wall, it's 100% opaque. You can't see through it. Sometimes Inkscape opens up with this opacity set to zero. I don't know why, but it does. And so if you go to the Layers palette and you notice your opacity is set to zero, push on that plus sign on the far right, and as the opacity goes up, watch the object that a moment ago was not visible become visible. So turning on your opacity for your entire layer is one way in which you're going to be able to see an object that was built but for some reason is not visible. Now there is another opacity. Down here in the bottom left corner, right beside your fill and stroke, right past your stroke size is the letter O. That is the opacity of an individual object. This object right here, individually, has an opacity set to zero. If you take that object and you push and hold the plus sign and you bring the opacity of that individual object back up to 100%, you will be able to see it as well. So sometimes it's individual objects that are set to zero. Sometimes it's the entire layer that is set to zero. Sometimes the layer is accidentally turned off visually. That eyeball on the far left end of the layer number one icon okay, is visually on, visually off. And if the object is visually off, you're not going to be able to see it. So here are three ways immediately to try and bring an object back to life that you've drawn but for some reason can't be seen. Make sure the layer is visible. Make sure the layer opacity is at 100. Make sure any object's individual opacity 
is also at 100. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck staring at objects like this and wondering what the heck and how the heck was it made and why isn't it showing up. There is another option you can do, um, and it's one that might need to be done the most often. If I close the Layers palette, and instead of the Layers palette, I go to my Object drop-down menu, and I go to the Fill and Stroke dialog box. Fill and Stroke dialog box is very similar to what goes on in the bottom left-hand corner, which we already learned about, but it is an entire dialog box on the left side of the screen, and that entire dialog box has a number of options in it that also can affect our ability to see an object. If I select this object here, there are times when this bar at the bottom, okay, the overall alpha value, is set to zero. I don't know why. I don't know why alpha opacity is set to zero, but it's another opacity concept, right? You can see it come up. This is the amount of red, this is the amount of green, this is the amount of blue, and that's your alpha opacity. When you open up Inkscape sometimes and start drawing, for some reason the alpha opacity is set to zero. I don't know why. Go into your stroke and fill dialog box, set the alpha opacity up to 100, and that will fix the problem. So, alpha opacity under the fill and stroke dialog box, which is brought up under object, fill and stroke. Or, sometimes, under layers, there it is. Sometimes the visibility is turned off. Or sometimes the entire layer's opacity is set to zero. And sometimes an individual object's opacity is set to zero. All those things can be the problem. It can also be that the fill and the stroke have been set to be transparent. Again, if I right mouse click on any color and I set my fill, that colors the interior of the object. If I right mouse click on any color and set the stroke, that colors the outside outline or stroke of the object. If I go to the bottom left corner and I right mouse click on the stroke size, I can adjust that size, make it bigger or smaller. But this box, the very first one in your color palette is the absence of any fill, the absence of any stroke. That's why it's got an X through. It's not white, that's white. It is none, no fill or no stroke. So if I select an object and I choose to set my fill to nothing, well, notice how everything goes away in the middle and I can actually see through the object to this particular printed page icon underneath. It's because there's nothing there. If I set my stroke to the same thing, now the entire object is completely invisible. It's still there, there it is but its stroke and its fill has been set to none. Sometimes you might accidentally have to go in, look at an object and realize that you've got to set the stroke and the fill to some color value in order to actually see it. Okay, sometimes the object has to be selected to get that stuff up. Sometimes it's the layer. Sometimes it's something else that I might not even be thinking of right now. But those are the big ones that I want to show you because those are the ones that often get us in trouble. Make sure the layer opacity is all the way up. Make sure the layer is visible. Make sure each object's individual opacity is all the way up. Make sure the fill and the stroke both have color values in the boxes beside them. And make sure that the object fill and stroke dialog box has your alpha channel all the way up to 100%. Okay, it's a strange and wonderful world in Inkscape, and we're going to make our way through it. But that's going to be some of the ways that you can troubleshoot problems, especially when you first download Inkscape and you first fire it up, and you find that for some reason, every time you go to build an object, it just can't even be seen. And it's because one of those options might be set incorrectly. There's even one more option, or one more option, there's even one more object way over here, and I can't remember what I did to it, right? I go down, I look, okay, there it is. It's the individual opacity that needs to come back up. These are all troubleshooting methods for understanding how Inkscape works, 
and how you can troubleshoot and solve your own problems. And I guarantee you that there are people in every uh, cohort, in every class, when they first download Inkscape, these settings are messed up and you got to go in and set them all to 100% in order to be able to see your object as you just click drag and build. I hope this helps. It is definitely a problem that comes up so often that I decided to make an individual little video out of it just to help people not be so confused because it is mind-numbingly confusing to try and find these settings by accident. Who would have ever thought to look in so many places for so many spots where an object's opacity has been set to zero? So I hope this helps because trust me, it's going to happen to somebody and if that somebody is you, you're going to be glad that I took the time to make this extra video. All right, we'll see you back in the Inkscape lessons very soon.